Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to talk about aligning and sizing objects in Excel. Let's take a look and see how easy that is to do. Here we have a series of objects in Excel. Now these can be photos, shapes, charts, graphs, whatever, as long as they're objects within Excel. And we can do a few different things with these. So for example, let's say I want to align these all so they are uh, aligned with the left edge. All I have to do is select one, hold down my control key, select the others, and the contextual tab for drawing tools format pops up. I'll click on that and in the arrange group there is an alignment. I can click the down arrow and say align left and now you can see Excel has aligned all those so that they are aligned via the left. Let's say I want to align several of these horizontally. Again, holding down my control key, I can select them, hit the align group, and say align top, and now they've all lined up across the top. Now here are ones that are of different size, and I'm going to select each of these, and I'm going to click the align, and I'm going to align them either left, or I can align them right, or I can align them so that the centers of each line up. Now, once a group of them are selected, you can also move them together as a group. Let's also say that you want to make all these not only line up, but be the same size. Well, one thing you can do is click on one of them, hold down your Alt key, and now you can size it so that it pops and snaps into the cells uh, into the row height and column width so it fits nice in there. And then you could do the same with the others so that they are all the same size. Once you've done that and created them to be the same size, and I'm going to do the last with this one, and I'll position that one up a little bit. Now I can click on several of them, again holding down my control key, and now I can resize them and they'll all resize simultaneously. So once I size them all to match by fitting them within the widths and heights of the cells and rows, then I can click hold multiple ones and resize them all at the same time. And again, when they're all selected, I can also reposition them. And that's how easy it is to work with sizing and aligning objects within Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.